Yeah. Put curses up on that, that yeah, fucking. That's, that's supposed to happen. Yeah. That's yeah. supposed to happen. That's supposed to happen. They, right they, they threw rocks at the puppets, man. Yep. Shit, yeah. Hey, we're in the same lot of those men, A of ancient. So what? The people are supposed to hate us as well. Yeah, hey, Jay just don't people. understand how, how severe hey, his punishment is about to be. Yeah. Hey, Hey, the scripture tells us that everything that men shall do when we go into yeah, Matthew 12 and 36, yeah. hey, it says every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account. Hey, but the scriptures also tells us, hey, the same thing goes for their actions, man. Yeah. Thought, and their thoughts. Hey, that nigga, yeah. hey, not only is this nigga, that nigga, whoever, <laughs> hey, the driver's getting it, whoever threw it as well. Edomites. It's Edomites. Hey, man. Edomites, oh, nice. they, they about to go down hard anything. Oh, yeah. 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 They gonna, they, they gonna just say last lick, hey. That was your last lick that you got before uh, Jake. What the fuck was the fire? Is it firecracker? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's right there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Oh wow. Hey, hey, America's about to get destroyed. You're going into the second episode. 14 and 15. Yeah. 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 I know this is really applying to Jake, but really anybody coming up against the Lord's prophets, this is our second uh, 30, Second Chronicles 36 and uh, 15. It says, and the Lord power of their father sent to them by his messengers, rising up three times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord rose against his people so there was no remedy. No remedy. No. So, I mean, this is this come with the territory. You know? They're supposed to misuse us. They're supposed to do what they do. Right? But the Lord, you know, we know the Lord saw that. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't, uh, they, they ain't escaping that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it didn't catch a brother on fire and nothing crazy. Yeah. We we learned from that. Yeah, it, it, it does vex you. It does agitate you to watch these people be able to do these things, knowing that, and, you know, through our our faith and our belief that we we gonna have the power to put to squash all that madness. Okay, <laughs> it's funny. on earth physically, but we have to remain spiritually. You know, we have to remain spiritual in these times right now. The Lord gonna put us in remembrance. Yeah. We not saw him, but the the Lord gonna put it in our remembrance who that was. Yeah. You know? Slave, yeah. Man, you get that right there. Now, this is the word uh, misused uh, in yep. second uh, Chronicles 36. Uh, it's H8591. It says ta'a. It says to, uh, to be a mocker, to mock, to ridicule. It says to uh, to mistreat or to scoff, uh -huh. which is exactly what this happened. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was the point. That was the point, though. But, but what does it say? Well, Stalking should be in these last days. That's how we know we're in these last days. Hey, think about it. You know, we have to remember, we're, we are the bearers of bad news. These people don't want to hear this message. Everything that they believe in, we're talking about it being destroyed and crumbling. Everything that they know yeah, and love, and, and love we're is getting taken away. We're speaking the opposite of yeah. everything that they love we, and we know. We rejoice at, at, at the pandemic. We rejoice at the mandates. Oh, sorry about that. Hey, Khan, what's about to happen, man? And you have everybody in the world, everybody in... Hey, because every... Hey, I believe in God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I respect that, yeah. A higher, yeah. Yeah, 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 um, hey man, and this is like what the brother was saying like, before we were interrupted, man. Hey, the world is hoping for America to to, to come back, man. Yeah. To basically be back in that state of uh, of, of delicacy, man. Yeah. You know, of, of, of bread and circus. Of basically yeah. no problem. Yeah. Hey, so when we're telling the world and you people that, hey, America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. And that Yahweh Shah is only coming back to save hey, the remnant and the one third. Hey, of course you're going to be mad. I'm just gonna say, so like, of course you're gonna be pissed off because we want the destruction of everything you know, believe, and care for in this life. But guess what? It pisses us off, man. 
that you want to, especially you Jakes, that want to stay here in captivity and do all this fucking bullshit, man. All this is fucking bullshit, vain and empty shit, man, going on in this world. All of this amounts to nothing but further destruction of our people, man. And you guys want to stay here in this shit? The only way to come up in this world is to partake in the destruction of our people. Yeah. There's no way for you to even to live. You look at these famous people, them motherfuckers ain't happy. Yeah. Name, name one famous person that really looks happy, bro. You ain't gonna see it. You're gonna see an actor on screen, is what you're gonna see. Especially not Jake. Hey, Hell if you, no. look, you pay attention to that, that world, so to speak, hey, Jake is always in some shit. shit. The famous, the most famous uh, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans always gotta deal with whether it be a, a court case, yep. dealing with oh, uh, copyright information or infringement, Taxes. or a fucking woman, yep. you know? Or they get in trouble with their family, you guys still get with drama from their family. Because he's still under the fucking yeah, curses, man. Bro, house is getting broken into. Yeah. It's always a hey, Floyd house. That nigga got, got mil millions. And that nigga still don't got peace, man. Yeah, <laughs> rituals. Yeah. yeah. Satanic rituals. To keep that, that energy that, in power. That, that, that conscience, you know, can't, can't uh, basically uh, sustain. Uh, they uh, got they got the spirit out. of Esau where Jake got enough money. No, this is just sit down and not do shit. Yeah. But they got that spirit of one more. Yeah, I, I, I need more, you know. They got a constant entertainment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tight. Yeah. Tight. They're running Kyrie Irving through the ringer. When we just saw, at least he's still holding on. But you know, he's eventually gonna find. They gonna find a number that he's gonna that he's gonna have to succumb to. He's gonna find something. Or if he has integrity, hey, more power to him. He went off his Twitter and how about Shine get out of that match? But like the, the Andrew Wiggins is, 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 right? Guys like that, dude, come on, man, you got money. Shit, Retire. They, they want uh, Kyrie to perform, play basketball, shit. They don't freeze the bank account. You got, that's, that's what I just gonna say. Man, man, you got money, but you know you got something to lose. You got money, but you can't get it all if you don't fulfill your contracts. You know? And even when they do, they're gonna make another deal on you. Yeah. You know, they're gonna make another deal on you. And even when they do, they're gonna make another deal on you to make you stay into that servitude mm -hmm. mode. So who, why the hell would you want to stay in a, in a world that's designed like this for you? This world that we're talking about, yeah, it begins with destruction of this society and, 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 and uh, self-sacrificing and things of that nature, okay? Denying yourself and your flesh and the pleasures of life, yeah. But you, what do you gain from that? You gain eternal life in the kingdom of heaven where you rule, where you cut the checks, where you own things. Somebody pull it. I got a quick scripture, brother. There's uh, Micah 2, verse 10. Yep. Arise you and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with its sore destruction. Hey, it says, this is not our rest. Meaning what? Hey, this is not our heaven, man. This is this is not the place in where you find your peace. Hey, you even got Israelites with the, or the circumcision that'll tell you to your face, man. Hey, we're supposed to build your kingdom in this kingdom. What kind of bullshit is that, man? When was that ever Yahweh Shai's message? How, how, so how, how are we supposed to, us being Yasharala, princes of the power, you're telling us we're still supposed to be under subjection, being princes of the power? <laughs> what kind of shit is that? The scriptures say the earth is made for our sakes. You niggas is cool with having an Israelite community? You know how low that is, man? Jake is full of it, man. Can you read that again, bro? It's like... Yeah, Micah 2, verse 10. Arise, you depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. It shall destroy, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. Hey, because you have Jake that say hey, that's so much about unity. Right, you're so much about unity, but you don't understand, hey, the, the Lord is about uh, division. He's mm -hmm. always divided, man. That's why the elect is such a small remnant. Because it's about quality over quantity. That's right, bro. Jake is, ju Jake is just comfortable with grouping in whoever and, and, and whenever, man. They, they, Jake it's is... Not, it's comfortable the, with the, numbers. Exactly. Like, it's not a numbers game, man. Yeah. It's about the quality of that individual. Hey, that's why the elect are so special. Because what? These are the same ones that still bold. The same ones that are blameless. Hey, when we always go back into that account of Gideon, man, and, uh, and the Lord dwindling down those numbers, it was about those men that prostrated themselves and were humble. Because what? At first he told us, okay, we need an army. A bunch of Jake came out. He was like, all right, if you're not ready to fight, leave. A bunch of Jake left. 
Because <laughs> what? They weren't prepared uh, mentally, and uh, physically, and spiritually. But well, they start with 20,000? Yeah, they start with thousands of uh, individuals, man. And end up narrowing it down to what? 300. Because what? It's not about the number. The scriptures always tell us, man, that it's nothing for the Lord hey, to, to shut up a few in the... In the uh, uh, we have to shut up, yeah, shut up a multitude in the hands of a few. The water, bro. The water. Shut up a multitude in the hands of a few. Because that's exactly what he's doing with uh, with his men. Because when you look at the real, hey, we always show that uh, the two thirds or the pie chart, man. People don't understand the, the, the gravity of it. It's like, where's it? Right here. Right here. When we look at this pie chart, man, you got to understand that this is talking about the whole uh, world of Israel, you know, the the the, the two thirds are included in this, man. Yeah. The full circle. The full circle. Huh. The hundred percent of everybody that's an Israelite. Yeah. That's including a hey, the the Israelites, uh, the the Israelite Gentiles, man. Meaning what? Those that look like other nations. They're included within this. A lot of them are two thirds as well. So understand that Israel is the sand of the sea. That means what? A majority of the nation of Israel is going to be put to death. Huh. Hey, whenever you are, wherever you are, whether you're in a grocery store, whether you're out, hey, uh, you could be at a movie. Hey, the people around you, majority of people you see are going to be put to death. Yeah. Everybody that was at that fight last Bro, night. Bro, <laughs> yeah. them no. niggas are going to be put to death, man. Shit, everyone at, at, at this Raider game up here, up the street. Yeah. People don't understand <laughs> how serious this is. The Lord said, this is not our rest. He's telling you, hey, this place is not for you. Yeah. And Jake is like, oh, well, you know, what, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to get this money, get this bag, chase these hoes. And well, you're going to chase them right into your destruction, man. Yeah. The, the, the world you see is bigger than what you see, man. This is this is all temporal. The scripture tells us that. Con, it's on you, bro. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Hey, he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded, man. Why? Because those same men... Hey, and women, hey, because the, the one-third consists of women. Those same individuals, man, they have put off their life. They've sacrificed, hey, the, the pleasures of this life to reap the pleasures of the kingdom, man. Uh, and in uh. the first go-round, not like the two-thirds coming back after generations of, through the elect's loins, man. These are the, the, the same individuals that stood stiffly, bold for the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh At the end, it's about who you're fighting for and what you're fighting for, man. Who will stand me Who's, against the evil? Who stand the up for me? Against the workers of religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's gonna stand up for righteousness, man? In the face of evil doers. Okay? And call them out on them. Not to be out there wag wagging the hand, you know. But this is where we do that at. Right. It's easy, man. It's easy. And not saying the truth is easy, but I'm saying it's easy to be in the world. Because all you gotta do is do what the rest of these niggas do. Mm -hmm. the, the challenge, the fight. Is when you step outside of that and you fight for righteousness, man. Go against and the go against the grain. Kind. The scriptures tell us those that depart from wickedness make themselves That's a prey. That's right. Hey, what you just seen? We we are prey. You seen the the Edomite threw the the firecracker at us? Hey, cause what? Hey, we are praying to these people. The scriptures say what? We are sent forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, man. That means what? You're in a position of being a prey. That means everyone else is a predator. Hey, but we understand that we have protection from who? The shepherd. It's not like we just fighting this by ourselves, man. All right. Come on, go ahead, bro. Well, this is uh, Proverbs 29 and 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Yeah, we hate, both hates each other, man. Hey, we discussed, so like, we discussed you by us uh, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts. And you discuss us for not rehearsing the righteous acts, for all the wickedness and abominations that you commit around us. It's like it says in uh, Second Peter, the second chapter, about how much that uh, it vexes a uh, lot's righteous soul. It, well, it vexes our righteous soul to see the uh, the filthy conversation of the wicked, the, yep. the filthy uh, acts that you people do, the filthy uh, ways that you speak and the actions that you do. Yep. It makes us, it agitates us, man. Right. And like it's also in those that uh, Corinthians, we are uh, a savior of life unto life and a savior of, of death unto death. Yep. Yep. So basically, those who, you know, when they hear this, it, 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 it lends a bad taste or a, a bad smell. It's a bad taste, you know, in, it's a bad taste in their mouth. 
Yeah. They hate they hate this thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why they'll be willing to, you know, talk shit, scoff, throw shit at us, yeah. or whatever.